What's up guys, so today we're going to try to do a DIY P16 labels. So we're going to try to use like magnetic labels instead of the usual white tape and then use marker to write something like this. So we're going to come up with a solution to do like a reusable label that we can swap like different labels around without actually like redoing the whole thing. Okay, first up we have our materials. So the materials we got here are actually quite simple. I got the inspiration from this product on eBay actually. So it's like using something like fridge magnets and then you just buy a MGRS receptive steel tape is by fine tape. This one costs around like 15 bucks for 10 feet which is enough, more than enough for our 6 P16s. And next up we've got like some A4 labels. So this is like an A4 size label, it's just one whole sheet and yeah, so it's just an adhesive on a glossy paper. I also got a a cheap small whiteboard. So we can use this whiteboard to, to basically store all the unused P16 labels. So it will be already magnetized on the thing and we just like paste it on here. So you can keep track of which labels are already used and you can also like store them when not in use. Okay, first up we're going to make the labels. I managed to find a pre-existing template of these P16 labels. It's made by Pete. So Pete wearing just P16 labels. Thanks Pete. So I just modified his one, he's, he's got all the sizing right. I just removed the numbers and just made like six sets of two rows and fit it into a page. Yeah, so these are kind of the uh, instruments that I'll probably need. So I've got a lot of drum channels, talk back, click, music and all this stuff. I left like four blank here so I can like manually write in my own if I ever need some more. Yeah, so all you gotta do is just go to file. After you've edited your own labels, you just go to File, Print, make sure there's no scaling, select your printer, then put your adhesive label into the printer and you can just print it out. So next up, we're going to try to paste the labels on the fridge magnet. Okay, so this is the fridge magnet thingy. So it's quite soft, so this one will stick to your whiteboard or like the MGRS tape. Next step is to just align the, align the labels and just paste it on the magnet. I'm gonna try to peel off the adhesive backing thingy. So you actually don't have to use this adhesive label thing. My initial idea was to just print on an A4 size paper and then just literally just double sided tape it onto the fridge magnet. But I think this is a more elegant and like easier solution. Okay, so I think this one, the, the A4 size actually lines up almost exactly so there's not much room to misalign. Uh, it would probably be better if you got like some squeaky thingy. But I think I'm just gonna use my fingers to push it. Okay, so now we've got the we've got our labels pasted on the fridge magnet, the, the soft magnet. And we're gonna do our P60 now. We're gonna remove our old labels first and we're gonna paste the MGRS receptive tape onto the silver part of the P16. Yeah, so this MGRS steel tape is by fine tape, so it's uh, 1 inch by 10 feet. I think the P16 is around like 30 cm. Yeah, so this 10 feet one can probably fit all of our P16 and we have some remainder for other devices as well. So we're just going to roughly mark out where is the silver part. Yep. So we're going to take a small piece and see if it actually sticks on it. Yep. So you can see it sticks on it. The magnetism isn't that strong but if it's put horizontally it probably stick quite well. Yeah. Okay, we're going to remove the adhesive and put it onto the P16. As you can see, the one inch one is just nice. You can fill up the, all the silver part so it looks like quite clean. It goes a bit off to the bend, but I think that's okay. We can just like press it down. Yeah, so one inch is just nice. You try to put a few labels on it. See, so it sticks on pretty well. It doesn't drop out or anything. Yeah. So we'll probably cut up some smaller pieces and then see if like the smaller pieces will stick better. So one thing I realized is that you might want to add a bit of a border to your label so you can actually see where they start and end. Yep, so the single piece can stick quite well also. Doesn't drop with like any shake. It might come off with like a bit of a swipe, so if you're not careful, you might accidentally like swipe, swipe your labels out. Yeah, but I think it works well. Right now we can just like rearrange the labels as and when we like without using like tapes, which is like consumable. So this is a very usable, reusable solution. It looks quite good also. So next up, we're going to try to do the whiteboard one. So this is where we're going to store all our unused labels. 
you can just like paste it on here and like call it a day but we have like the template of where the label should go to so so all you need to do is just like stick this on then we can paste our unused labels on top of where they should go yeah so we're gonna cut everything up and then fast forward to the finished product so guys so we are in our live room so this is our usual way of like telling the band like which channels are uh, which instrument so we just write it on the whiteboard so our new solution with the labels we can just have the labels on this portable smaller whiteboard then we can just like go to everyone and just change the labels as and when we like we can like reroute certain stuff and we can have and like different labels for different sessions so if you're doing like only a drum recording you can have all the labels just for drums only you can have like all the drum inputs you have like a top back you can have like the click which is like the metronome yeah so this is probably one of our like typical drum recording layout so the remainder of the unused one will be on the whiteboard as you can see here so we we'll probably hang this whiteboard on the on the shelf or something so as and when we need the labels we can just take it from here and paste it onto the p16 yeah so a simple diy solution for labeling your p16 I hope you guys find this useful and if you like this video remember to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials gear reviews and more peace